Welcome to the Full Sword tutorial video. This is what your free Full Sword account will look like once you add your favorite internet destinations. To get started using Full Sword, all you need to do is create categories. We call them buckets. Just create a few to get started. Then fill your new buckets with your favorite internet destination links as you find them. When you sign up for your free account within Full Sword, this is what you will see. We added some information to help get you comfortable within our cozy system. For instance, if you click on Internet Tools, you'll see a bunch of internet destinations here for you to explore. Of course, everything here may be removed with the click of a mouse. Okay, let's get started and create our first bucket. Look to your left and press the plus sign. Let's create this bucket. We'll call it Health, which would be good for medical websites, for internet destinations about exercise, perhaps you're into gardening. Okay, we'll create a garden bucket. And lastly, let's create a fun bucket. Let's create a bucket about an upcoming trip to San Diego. And what do you do in San Diego? You check out the world-class beaches or perhaps the amazing Mexican restaurants. Okay, here's the link I found. Now you could add your own title or you can have our system grab the title from the internet destination directly. Here's the bucket we'll go in. You can add some notes, press save. Now this title is a little bit long. Let's, let's make it shorter, make it look nice. We'll take that out and press save. Perfect. Well, that's it. You know, you now know how to use full sort. That's it. You can stop the video right now, or you can continue and learn some more. Let's continue and take a look at the Explorer area. Here under Explorer are buckets created by other full sort users who just want to make their bucket public because they're proud of them. Let's see, perhaps you're into buffalo wings. Let's learn about buffalo wings. Here's everything you can ever want to know about buffalo wings. What else here? Let's see. Oh, I know, Denzel Washington. Who doesn't like Denzel Washington? Yeah, this bucket looks really cool. I'm gonna to subscribe to it and confirm. And as you can see, I now have more information about Denzel Washington. Perhaps I wanna copy this Denzel Washington bucket and make changes on my own for my own private use. We'll press confirm and there we go. I can make changes to this bucket. I could even uh, or we could reorder the links by clicking there. And I can move this here and this here. That sounds good, let's save that. And that is the Explore area. Okay, let's continue and learn about Unsorted. What is that? Well, if you have a link that's not been classified yet, then it will show up here. It's like a catch-all. So what you do is you uh, click on the link and you put it in the bucket it belongs, press save and it's no longer unsorted. What else can you do on full sort? Well, you can manage your buckets. You can change the order. And this is very helpful if you have lots of buckets. So say we wanna move San Diego to the bottom, press save, and there it is. Okay, what else can we do? Well, it was over here, uh, you click these three dots and you can reorder your links. If you wanna reorder the actual links, not the buckets, but the links, you can do that too, no problem. Also, over here, if you wanna change the columns, you wanna make it three columns. Now, if you have a lot of links, that would show up better. Let me click on this, and we're gonna change the number of columns to three. And there you go, simple, quick. Uh, what else can you do? Well, if you get lost, you could click on the help button. Any, any uh, section has help. Here's some help here. Uh, if you're under a bucket and you're confused, just go to help. It's easy. Of course, you can, as you can see here, you can delete buckets. You can share buckets. Just click on a share and you can make the bucket public, which will have to be approved by us to make sure because everybody's gonna see this bucket. It has to be clean and neat and appropriate and we will approve it. Uh, you can make it, keep it private. All you need to know is the email address of another full sort user and you can share your bucket with them. Now, if you want to edit a link, that's not a problem. Just click on this here and you can change your URL, the title. You can change the bucket the internet destination goes into. You can change notes, add notes. And let's click on the picture now and click on tutorial. Here, 
you can learn everything I just taught you in this video by following along. If you already know everything, okay, let's confirm. We'll get rid of that then. And let's click on your picture again and click on profile. Here you can change different settings, your name. And uh, over here, you can change your display size. If you want a smaller display, you can do that. So you can see how much smaller it gets. You can make it bigger, whatever you want to do there. If you want to import your bookmarks from other web browsers and from uh, other locations, you can do that easily. You can also export your bookmarks by clicking this button. And we don't hide this from you. We, if you want to leave full sort, we do not make it tough. All you do is click this button and you save your bookmarks and you're off full sort. And over here, you can change your password, etc. Okay, what else can you do in full sort? What I love most about full sort is this is my central internet dashboard. I'm in charge of what is front and center. I put my most used internet destinations here for easy access. I can now find everything for my phone, tablet, or desktop using the same central interface. To customize my dashboard, I just need to look through my buckets and click the star button, which will place my favorites on my central internet dashboard. And as you can see right here, I just added this to my central internet dashboard. Well, thank you so much for watching this tutorial video. Please feel free to visit us and let us know your thoughts anytime.